Colorado now. An opportunity with the extra postseason teams. Jeff Bladich runs the ball club, and he says hello. Jeff, welcome. Happy opening day. Nice to have you with us. How are you today, pal? Okay? I'm good, Chris. Thanks for having me, man. How are you? All right, very good. Uh, listen, uh, nobody's going to concede any division to anybody on July 24th, but this is a good sign with the extra postseason teams. If we get through a season, obviously now more opportunity for a team like Colorado in a tough division with the Dodgers, a better opportunity to make uh, and play in postseason baseball. Give me some thoughts on uh, the deal yesterday to add the extra clubs here in 2020. Yeah, um, I, think, I think it's a good idea overall. You know, I think if we can... As a as a baseball community, get to the point of of postseason. Um, that'll be a victory in itself. Uh, you know, with the, with the way that the virus is um, is acting right now around the country, um, I, I think the, the the baseball community is committed to doing the right things to to play as much baseball as we can and make this season work. Um, you know, and and so if we can get to that point, extra we've missed so much of the season already. That, uh, that extra baseball that we can play in the postseason and, and have an exciting finish to the year. Um, you know, I think it would be a great thing, and, and certainly the Rockies. I mean, we're, we're focused on having a good season and getting to that point of, of being a postseason uh, participant. Uh, what's going to keep you up nights here early? Is it going to be your team on the road and making sure they follow protocols? Is it going to be injuries? You know, with this quick start, people ramped up awfully quickly with the 60 games. What's going to keep Jeff Bright at jump nights here for the first <laughs> week or so of the season? <laughs> well, it won't be um, it won't be the player. I, I, our players are so committed right now to trying to make this all work. Um, I think the summer camp was a was a great way to practice all the protocols. Um, frankly. The fact that we came down here to Texas, uh, to Dallas, to play the Rangers a couple times prior to the to start to the real season, that has helped us um, kind of everybody just kind of get in, in line and, and kind of get uh, used to the protocols and all the things that we can and cannot do. Um, and, and so I don't think it'll be that stuff. Uh, you know, it, whenever you start up quickly like this, uh, I, I think in the back of your mind you're always hoping that physically – uh, the players are good to go. You know, it just regular, normal wear and tear type of physicality that, that the, the season demands. Um, you know, you hope your players are healthy and that we're not rushing through anything. And so um, if, it, if it's anything, that would keep us up at night. But uh, our guys as a group seem to be in a really good spot. You know, Scotty Oberg will, will have a, you know, a little bit later start to his season, but his injury isn't major and we're, we're expecting him to be back uh, soon. But otherwise, uh, it seems like we're, we're in a good spot right now. And is Blackman okay? What's up with him right now? Uh, what can you tell me, John? I know he had the, the battle with COVID. What's up with Charlie Blackman? Can you tell me? Yeah, he's, he's seemingly in a good spot. I, you know, the first game that he played, you know, inter-squad game back in Denver, uh, first at bat, I think second pitch was a home run in the, in the right field bleachers. Um, so it's, it was almost literally like him rolling out of bed and, and hitting a home run, uh, which I guess with, you know, with the way that he has performed over his career isn't a huge surprise. But, um, you know, he, he did his, you know, did his battle with, with the virus, and it was weeks and weeks ago. And, uh, you know, he, he never had it uh, where, where it was terrible for him. So... Uh, he seems to be in a good uh, in a good spot, and I think getting stronger every day. You know, every day helps um, get him you know that much sharper and that much closer to, to kind of being in top shape. Uh, how about Arenado? The relationship with the club with him right now. I, we know he's got these opt outs. I know you're going to tell me he's spirited and ready to go. Uh, it wasn't that long ago you gave him a great contract, and then he got a little annoyed about the plight of the team, but. We can get into that, but uh, what's the relationship right now with you guys and your star third baseman? Yeah, it's it's fine. It's professional. You know, I mean, we're focused on, like you said, we're focused every day on, you know, the, the task at hand. Um, and certainly, I think, unified in, in making the most of, you know, the, the whole team is unified in making the most of, of this season. Um, and feeling like we've got a team that uh, – you know, it's full of all stars, and it's you know it's it's got you know pitchers that are are getting better, starters that are getting better and improving. Uh, we've got a, a Cy Young contender who's going to 
you know, going to take a major step back to that sort of form this year and Kyle Freeland. Um, we got a, you know, a burgeoning star in, in Herman Marquez um, and, a, and a kid in Antonio Sanzatella who's going to take another step in his career. I think I believe and solidify himself in the rotation. So, um, you know, I, I think Nolan's always focused on, on those sorts of things where the team's at and, uh, you know, as are we. And, and in this short season, um, being unified in that and, and, and knowing that those things are going to matter because, as everybody has said across the league, you know, you're not going to get much margin for error here. Um, you got to start strong. You got to stay strong. Not in 60. Uh, you know. Yeah, not yeah, gotta get I mean, off to a good start. Last really thing, be on, a not a marathon, unlike most seasons. Right, how about the uh, last thing, Jeff? How about uh, Murphy? Uh, we know he's an excellent hitter. You got the DH spot for him, which will help now in the National League. I would think a good bounce back for him. Give me some thoughts quickly. Yeah, yeah, he, he's uh, you know he came into original spring training. He came in in great shape, you know, back in February, March, and. Um, you know, he committed to that, and, uh, and he showed up in Denver for summer camp in, in the same sort of shape. So that was great to see, um, you know, him, him pull through on that commitment. And uh, he had a lot of involvement um, in, in some of the things that were going on, you know, between MLB and, and the PA uh, for months there. Um, so he stayed active and he stayed engaged, and, um, and I think that that shows right now. I mean, he is – he came into camp, summer camp, with an, an incredibly positive uh, and playful attitude and trying to make the best of those quick three, three weeks. Um, and I think he's looking to have fun and have, you know, fun having a bounce back here for him and getting back to, to playing baseball the way he is accustomed to playing at, at, at that uh, incredibly high level, especially offensively. So um, no, I think he's, he's a- going to be part of our spirit this year, and I think he's going to have a really nice year. No, he's a good hitter. Good job, Jeff. Well done. Keep up the good work. Thanks for coming on here today. Have a good start. Appreciate it very much. Thanks, Chris. Enjoy the season, man.